Hello everyone. I am coming to you from a tiny house. So as some of you may know, I'm speaking at a conference on in California, but we're staying in an Airbnb before we check into the hotel that's for the conference. And so this Airbnb is a tiny house and my husband found it and I was really curious to try it. So I can give you a little tour around. It's not very big, but it's very uh, comfortable. Not a lot of room for stuff. So I have to show you before we, we get a bit messy. Um, there is a mini split up there. There's a TV, a lot of windows. We have, this is the kitchen. They have a lovely yard. Let's see if I can show you behind me. So I'm making myself some tea right here and they have an induction cooktop and then there's the bathroom in the back and I was just going on my computer and right here there's like a, a little desk area. So I'm just gonna check in and see what's going on. And then there's a bed is up these super steep stairs and in that loft the only thing I can show you I can go up there the only thing that's getting me a little creeped out here is that um there's like no belt there's no railing here and there's the bed it's a low ceiling um it's really low up here but it seems pretty cozy and uh, you can see Dave down there but there's it's a little bitty space and it just is a long way down in the middle of the night to fall down there. I feel like it's a little scary. So, but I'm gonna sleep on the other side. So that's the tiny house. I'll give you another little tour of the outside in just a minute. Um, so they put storage under the stairs. So each stair is a is a closet, a little mini closet. <laughs> See there's towels here. This one is an actual closet. See that? That's pretty clever. So I got a big refrigerator and then I can show you the bathroom. Let's see, you have kind of a, it's a barn door thing. And then let's see, it's a uh, teeny tiny, tiny house, tiny sink. And there's a normal size toilet there. And a, let's see, and a shower. Um, it does have an exhaust fan, which is probably a good idea. We were kind of noticing that the exhaust fan for cooking is fake. So you can see there, it doesn't exactly fall. It doesn't seem to exhaust anywhere that I can tell. I'll look outside and see if there's a vent just in case, but maybe there's a vent. That would be a good thing. So, all right, well, I can go outside and I can show you around outside and I'll walk this way so you can see the tiny house. So there it is. You can see this is the, um, that is part of the mini split system. So that's how they run the heat and air conditioning. And there it is. And they have a lovely yard. They have like, they have a really nice patio with the hot tub. We didn't bring our suits. Um, so we won't be using it, but they have this, it's got like a fire pit table. They have a grill. So this is a pretty neat place. And it's apparently brand new. They've only had five people stay in it. Um, you can see the back here. Let's see if there was a, a vent outside. No, so you look outside here where the vent, where the, there's no vent right here. So that exhaust fan is not real, which is not too good for, accumulation of moisture if anybody does cook but this is a vacation place so probably nobody's gonna cook there is a vent for the bathroom fan so i'll show you that up there you see that right there that square is the bathroom fan so that's good that they actually exhaust that moisture out um one thing that i would have done different was i would the um the drip edge doesn't have a good kick out so if you take my course you'll learn you learned all about that but a kick out is another bend in the in the flashing and this doesn't have it which could cause problems and then this has this detail right here where they actually combined i don't know if you can see that but they combined they they did a seam between the wood and um the seam collects water into the wall so that was unfortunate. They should have done it the other way. And they could have done it the other way. 
So, but other than that, it looks really nice and it's a, um, it's a nice little place. I'll go this way so you can see it from this side. It's really, it's a, just a one bedroom little tiny house. So there we have it. We're gonna sleep in it tonight and we'll see how it goes. But it is um, pretty lovely and it's pretty nice and we're excited. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. For more free information on safe building, avoiding mold, and water damage, visit avoidingmold.com.